I want to speak to my mother. Mom! Stop, boy! I know you won't die! <laughs> what you keep hollering for me for? You don't think I can hear you? Do you not understand that I'm already pissed off? Because you told me that you were staying after school. So how the hell your ass Ooh, 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 yikes! Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Bit Blue, and we're here. We're back with another video. I know it's been a minute, but we're gonna go. Oh, oh. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this one. Now, this is gonna be interesting. This one is from. Let's see who it's from. Midwest Safety, titled "When Teens Outnumber Cops." Let's see how this. Uh, I figured this is gonna be black, and sure enough, yep. First guy on the screen is black. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. <laughs> This is tragic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? The time is nigh. We're getting so much closer to getting to a thousand subs. And as promised, we're going to be doing a giveaway. Two people are going to get a chance to win $25 gift cards to Amazon. All you have to do is just hit that like button, press that subscribe button. If you aren't already subscribed, go down to the description where you're going to find the link to enter for the giveaway. And once I hit a thousand subs, I'm going to go ahead and do a live. I'll let you guys know ahead of time. We're going to do this. And as I mentioned before, the more that the channel grows, the more that these giveaways are just going to increase. So y'all stick around and y'all go ahead and watch these videos let's get this thing up let's go ahead and get back to the video you I there. Not, I watched, what, what building uh, the, uh, come on now no. came out what building do you live in officers respond to a call of a fight between about 20 teens some of 20? these teens are known to have an extensive criminal history so I'm gonna tell you. Okay, this so a, this oh, isn't a college. You, Come on, in. what you doing there, fool? Why? Well, because it's called loitering and prowling, and you're obstructing. Come on, now, what you doing there, fool? I just came. I just came. He ain't got nothing to do with that. He just got school. Who are you? I'm his cousin. Who are you? I'm his cousin. I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Why? Uh, I can't stand. Oh my gosh. Why are we already doing this? Why are we already doing this? These are teenagers. These are teenagers with parents that don't tell them, know how to teach them better. They've been indoctrinated into this culture that's just going to tear them down and that's just going to destroy their future and make them make decisions like this. Well, I can't really say that because there are people, I know there's probably plenty of people that were teenagers and did the exact same thing and that are now doing better for themselves because they decided to switch up their lives before it was too late, which is great. I guess the only thing I could do right now is just hope that this is what's going to happen with these individuals. But again, why allow things to happen that we can prevent? Parents, please, please. I don't know. I just got over here. I just you got can take me. You can take me. You I got can take my phone me. Come on. Hey, no, come on. Come on. Nah, yo, nah, 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 nah. First off, put your fist away. Put your fisty cuff away. Wear a bigger shirt. Wear some bigger pants. That's the last thing I'm going to say about that. And go inside because now you're definitely going to jail. You're for a fact going to jail. Nah, bro. What is, oh my gosh, these kids are killing me. Oh, he's nice. He's about to get in Imagine if that was poison ivy, yo. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. It's my big sister. Please. Back it up. Back yes, sir. I'm sorry. That's the crazy thing. How the heck he was able to hold her down and this officer just lifted him up like he her face is in the bush. She could have a branch in her eye, right? You know what? This is terrible decision making. But these are high schoolers. What can you expect? Me, bro. My big sister, bro. Please don't do nothing. Take me out of these hair clothes. Step away. Step away. For what? I ain't doing problem. Get the out of me, bro. Nothing to do. We just came over here. I'm gonna get my bro. Get the out of 
my sister. You're my sister. The f up off that ground. Or every time I stick the f up on your office. Oh, God. Let's go. Let me 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 go. Then get out of here now. Where do you live at? You work here. All right, kick rocks. Where do you live at? All right, kick rocks. <laughs> that one. Which one? The red, the red shirt? The other one. Hey, okay, okay. I get down. I get down. I get down. I get down. Call my mama. Call my mama. Call my mama. Yo. Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Then leave. Where do you live? Get your hands out of your pants. Get your hands out of your pants. Where do you live at? Don't touch me. Where do you live at? Huh? Where do you live at? Why are you in my face, cousin? Alright, cool. Where are you in my face? Easy as that. Don't be stupid. I'm going to use the word stupid. Don't be stupid. Somebody needs to tell these. See, this is. And this is the weird thing. And once again, this is all part of the culture. This is all part of the mindset. This is all part of the teenage mindset of just trying to be around and just disrespect um, those in higher authority and all this stuff. Do adults know this type of stuff either? Mm, no, not really. But uh, this is just also frustrating. Like, oh my gosh, man, why are these kids out here doing all this stuff man but i mean like i said earlier let's just hope for the best <laughs> He's locked up. you didn't even do anything but you're being i'm sorry nobody this to y'all i didn't do nothing to you stand yes, up all i did was put you in cups Bro, give me the Bro, if you yo chill out with that, yo. I automatically thought that this was a. <laughs> I thought that this was a. I mean, I know it wasn't a gun, but I'm like, you can't be doing that around these police officers the way that they outnumber like that, man. Like, y'all need to chill. Don't live here. Leave. Leave. I don't even think they have enough handcuffs for all these kids. I know they don't Come have enough handcuffs. Come in and call my sister. Can you get me a I told you no. It's right here. And he's still. No. She ain't did shit, so why she can't get her phone? Stand back. Just ignore her, Austria. Yeah, just, just ignore me. We will. You want to go to jail? My ass. Oh, yo. That's the response, man. These are the teenagers. Oh my gosh. I just. Oh. Call because they were just fighting, man. They tripping. Come to the garden. They got her in the car, bro. Step away. Hey, I'm on the phone. Why you keep talking? What's going on? What are you doing? Get out of here, yo. Wait till my daddy get out here, boy. I'm on my What's your dad going to do, bro? What's your dad going to do? Your dad's not going to do absolutely jack, bro. Nothing. Man, shut up, man. Chill out, bro. You all right? You all right? Man, he gave us a rest still here. Where do you live at? Back up. Where, where do you live at? All right, you're about to come here and talk to me. Where do you live at? Hey, good. You do have to talk to me. Watch me. Where do you live at? All right, then cool. We're going to handcuffs. Come on. Number five. That's, oh my gosh. And for those of y'all that's just like, oh, with the kids, they're not doing anything. First off, what's up with you in this? All right, let me not say that. Like, and that's the thing that they're not understanding. This is now a crime scene. And they're, and they're intruding on this investigation, on this crime scene. Not providing no information or whatever the heck may be. But they're acting like they're involved in some way. So it's either you're going to be arrested too, or not even arrested. You're going to be detained as well, or you can go. If you're not leaving, then they got to make sure that you're straight because they can't have you standing around while their backs are turning and like that. Like, come on, guys. I mean, they're not going to know, but she's just annoying, man. Let me go now, my Court obstruction. Order and prowling. I can do this all day long. 
Yeah, Easy awesome. money. You talking? You said you're gonna kill us all. I ain't say I didn't say that. We just put me in handcuffs. I didn't want to answer your questions. That's called obstruction. That's not. And right now, loading and prowling and obstruction. That, that, Do you know the rule, Lord? Do I know the rule? Do you? I know the rule. Do you, bro? I know the rule. You just put me in handcuffs. So absolutely, it's not a rule. I'm not sure where you got that rule from, but that's not a rule. I don't have to answer your question. You're right. You don't have to answer my question. You can go in handcuffs. Take a seat. Now it's called loading and prowling and obstruction. Oh. Have a seat. Damn, that's a We need more cars. Oh my God. It's they crazy. have your phone. Do you live out here? Yes. Okay, what apartment do you live in? No, I don't live in this apartment. I live And you oh, need I to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I live here. What apartment? I live down the street. Damn, high schoolers, man. I can't. St oh, high schoolers get on my nerves so much. Bella! Have your mother, your little kid, have your mother to come see me. Oh, I think she, uh, yeah, manages. I'm not even paying, but you. Appreciate it. Thank you. 41. This is the way this works. If you do not live on this premises, then you are loitering a prowler, which means you are required to identify yourself to me. If you do live here, and I ask you your name and where you live, and you can't provide it, now you're required to quell my suspicions that you're not loading and prowling which is why you're in handcuffs in the back of my car now what's your name cameron i don't want you to be in handcuffs but i'm going to take you to jail i would much rather call your mom come pick you up hey yo hold up chill out first of all we gonna what is she doing what is it what what this is the generation that we live in. This is the this is the millennials that are parents right now, yo. You coming up out of nowhere and you're yelling at the police about your kid that's in the handcuffs. How about you figure out what your kid did <laughs> to be put in handcuffs and not coming over here yelling at the police? This is, that's ridiculous. Okay, I had a feeling it was Georgia because those look like apartment complexes that I had um, when I went to Georgia Southern. They look very similar. Bruh. I'll start this whole thing over. How y'all doing? Good. I'm her mother. You? Why is my daughter in handcuffs? Your daughter is in handcuffs because she was fighting and then thought it was a good idea for her to try to swing on the police. I don't have to. So as of right now, All your right. daughter is relax. Like, oh, don't look stupid. I see your face. Don't even do it. You can ask him questions. If okay. You also, what? Where's my son? Who's your son? The he in the cartoon. He in the. They tried to the the tackle. No, this is what happened. She was, was, was not fighting. They, they was jumping a boy, and then Rashad had jumped in, and I guess they tried to arrest him too. So that's when. Come on. Right. All right. right. We're, we're gonna stop all this. So this is the way this works. That's your daughter. That's my daughter, and that's okay. my son. Your daughter is under arrest. She um, hit two officers. Um, what did the officers do to my baby? They tried to tackle. They what did the officers do to? When was this? Last year. What did the officers do to my baby? Yup, this is these are the parents. See, you don't care about how your parent, how your kids are acting. You just care about what other people did to your kids. That's cool. That's cool. Trying to tackle Rashad, and that's when she jumped okay, on. Hey, 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 all right, all right, all right. Do we have a Rashad in custody? Her brother. So he's the first one to charge that day. So but there, there's no charges on him? No charges on him. Alright, so ma'am, excuse me. So right now your son Rashad, I believe he's one of the ones we had to clean his belly. He's not being charged with anything, okay? Apparently there was a large fight out here. We don't know why yet. As this large fight broke out, officers arrived on scene here and we tried to think, gain control. Your son Rashad charged at one of the officers. He didn't get hit, he didn't hit anybody or anything like that, so he was detained. When that happened, I guess his sister came up, and that's when she struck two officers. That's why she is now detained and being placed under arrest. Okay? So what you want to say now? So out of this whole fight, my daughter the only person going to jail? Oh, my. That's your concern right now. Did he say that anybody else was involved? Did he say that any... You know what? <laughs> this is crazy, man. This is parenting nowadays, yo. This is what parent. This is what we do, bro. This is nuts. Man, bro, As of right now, yeah. Mom! I want to speak to my mother. Mom! Shut up, boy! I know you out now! <laughs> <laughs> what you keep hollering for me for? You don't think I can hear you? Do you not understand that I'm already pissed off? Because you told me that you were staying after school. I so how the hell your ass... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yikes, damn, bro. 
cooked cooked now you definitely done for eh, maybe she's gonna let him off this is a new word she's gonna let him off like comment below if you think she's gonna let him off he called me and said, and I don't give a when more. nobody called you and say and you supposed to be your ass at my house so how you get crossed out to better guys i don't give a why's my daughter going to jail because you're doing some extra no ma'am they was trying to jump more and i jumped in I just started You got anything on you? No, Tell me a lighter. A lighter? Where? Don't reach for it. Have you been around weed? Because your clothes reek of it. Is there any on you? I'm going to check the back of the patrol car. I'm going to find it. If it's there, okay? You might as well just tell us. In your, your sock? sock? Alright. All right. And I'll take your shoes off. Pop this up. Alright. Sit back in the car. Alright. She got nothing in her boxers. That was a female? This is the joint. Ooh. She had weed on her. Yeah, weed on her. No charges, right? No charges. Mom is right there. If she comes over, we'll release. Uh, Easy. No charges. Easy money. Mom's on the way. Once she gets here, we'll release. Got it? She had a joint in her shop. Who does? The female in that car. Who, who's that one? She's the one who threatened to kill us last time. But, uh, I don't last know. time. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Hello, man. Tell me what exactly went on. So we go again. our officers responded to a, uh, a fight that just occurred here. Mm -hmm. There's apparently 20 individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, that was just a large fight. Yeah. When they arrived on scene, a lot of people scattered. Yeah. Um, a couple people uh, came running up and a couple people ended up being detained because okay. they were trying to fight police officers. So I'm the new senior manager here. Okay. I'm not going to tolerate it. So if you are tied into this and you live on my property, you're going to get a notice to vacate. Whoa, that's that's okay okay let's let's go with a warning first at least can we do a warning unless this isn't the first time but if you're no if you're new no no we gotta go with the warning first that's a little intense let's get these parents information and let's give them a warning if your kid does anything else that you guys will have to vacate something like that i don't even know if that's legal but come on lady let's calm down now we we gotta be we gotta be civil in this type of stuff it can be rash Okay. I already done got it from right. my ADO. Have you met Linda? Oh. This is the property manager. That's good. That's good. Um, I'm going to get with her. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know what to say in that case. You okay? You slammed me on my head. My head is hurting. I fell dead on my body. Do you want to go with EMS? Do you want him to go with EMS? No, he's fine. Where y'all taking her to? Juvenile? We're, we're calling right now, so we'll let you know in just a minute. Okay. All right, love you too. Yeah, I'm the mother. Hey. My son, y'all just called me. Other vehicle. Oh, Jesus. everybody, oh, everybody y'all alone. Where are you? He claiming he wasn't out here fighting. He got put in handcuffs because he was out here fighting at some point in time with somebody. So he's not getting charged today, but since he's a juvenile, you got we got to release him to your custody. Okay. So what happened? Big fight ensued, and we showed up. Who was he fighting? Uh, what my body to me, like, to me, to me. Hey, face the vehicle for me. Turn away, CJ. And so I'm not telling you what to do, but I think you need to make better decisions. I didn't say. So. Yeah, he'll be outside. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Whoa, the only the point that I'm trying to make. The, we have to take photos. Hey. The point that I'm trying to get him to understand is regardless if he gets into stuff or not, who he hang out with, he don't need to hang out with nobody. He don't hang out with nobody. He don't hang out with somebody? No, no. That's my son. Uh -uh. He's not a problem child. No. Anything else? Nope. Yeah, okay. Good. Thank you. Every black child is not a problem child. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's roll back real quick. Let's roll back real quick and see what's going on. Because that face give me a face to the I ain't doing nothing. You know, you know dang well you did, sons. So let's see. Where do you live at? Where do you live? Uh, not, son, uh, what's, no, what, no. what building? Uh, I'm not in the room. Come on now. I no. Came out of what building do you live in? Officers respond to a call of a fight mm. between about 20 teens. Some of these teens are known to have an extensive criminal history. So I'm going to tell you. This ain't a, oh, I'm going to tell you. You're going to get Come on, head. what you doing there, fool? Why? Because it's called loitering and prowling and you're obstructing. Come on now, what you doing there, fool? Mm, okay, all right. So they may not be lying. They may not be lying. Where do you live at? Where do you live? Uh, not uh, what, 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 what building? Uh, I'm not in the, uh, come on now. I no. just came out What building do you live in? officers respond to a okay so this may be a situation where he was just at the wrong place 
at the wrong time. I mean, yeah, and the police may not have gotten to him first. He he doesn't give me vibes. He could have just been like where he's from, been a little more calmer and stuff like that. But I mean, of course, people are always saying, oh, you ain't got to tell the police nothing and stuff like that. But they didn't mention, I think that needs to be the service announcement. You don't have to give your information to police if they don't have no suspicion of anything that's going on, except if it's a crime scene and you happen to be there. So when there was just a fight, somebody got called for a fight and now they're trying to figure out who's who. They need information because they were called here for something. If you just happen to be walking by or whatever, then whatever, just get the information. But again, don't let your attitude and your mood and you feeling this way, that way with the police cause you to get arrested or get put in handcuffs so that's what happened home they probably she's probably right homeboy probably is a good kid not a problem child whatsoever it's just that he was just caught in the wrong situation and he didn't provide the information quick enough and stuff like that so is that on the officer i, w I would say that's a little bit on the officer yeah and that and i will of course say that that's a little bit on the dude on the kid too um but yeah no so mom may be right I didn't Listen, say he was. I'm just saying how he got. He was just walking. Y'all put my child in handcuffs because he was walking. So you believe your child over the police? Yes, yes. Okay, what I'm talking about. I mean, okay. So out of all the kids that was actually fighting, y'all just detained the kids that wasn't. Oh, so this is the way it worked. When I rolled up, everybody scattered. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't know who was fighting, but if they don't live here, it's called loitering and prowling. What's your name and badge number anyway? Have a blast. Officer Johnson, six. Oh, okay, let me get a card. I don't have a card, actually. Y'all are just going to put him in handcuffs. And y'all ain't got a ring. He wasn't fighting. He wasn't fighting. He just was coming from my seat. He wasn't even fighting. She got him on the video camera. Coming to the house and coming from school. Uh-huh. Y'all tell him. Y'all just suck him out. Y'all better go to the ones that y'all need to go to. He got to tell me what happened. Yeah, man. He got to tell me what happened. Stop that. Stop it. Oh, they, 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 no, not, you ain't coming out until your mom says so. Send them right back in there for me, please. Yeah. Send them back in there. Easy. What's, what, can anybody tell me what's going on? We got a call that there were about 20 children up here fighting. So when I showed up, everybody kind of scattered. And then he refused to identify himself, refused to give me his name his birthday. So at that point, it became obstruction. He went to handcuffs to be detained. That's why he was. We're not going to pursue those charges. We're going to release them to you. What are the charges? Loading and prowling and obstruction. Loading and prowling. And obstruction. But. Do you know what your charges are? Listen, if I ask you one more question and you shake your head at me and you ask me with attitude, they can go ahead and take you because I'm getting sick of this. Why didn't you tell this man where you live at? This man ain't lying on you. I know your attitude. Yes. This man is not lying on you. You should not have came down here. It is a phone in the schoolhouse that you can use as several phones there. Somebody is coming to get you. You know that. And then you got an attitude. Oh man, yo, I can't deal. I can't. The only reason I can't deal is because I just, it's just bringing back high school memories and like some of the dudes that I used to just be. I ain't gonna hold you. When I was in middle school, I did some stupid decision, but I owned up to my stupid decisions. But kids are just, they're just gonna, it's so infuriating. I just hope that they learn. I hope that they learn. Ma'am, thank you. Okay, Camaro, okay, what's wrong with that? Camaro, you are in somebody else's property. That don't work like that. I talked to her dad. Mm. The paperwork will be sent um, to that address that they live at over in Iowa. All right, so just wait for the court date. So I called the jail to see if they were going to take her, but the jail wasn't going to. That's literally the only reason she's not going over. Gamora was charged with felony obstruction, Yikes. loitering and prowling, and two counts of battery. Gamoria was charged with possession of marijuana, obstruction, and loitering and prowling. The others were released to the care and custody of their parents. One parent made it clear that the blame for the entire situation was the fault of the police, who responded to numerous 911 calls related to a large fight. They are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Look, man, I say it once and I say it all the time, man. We got to do better with teaching these kids. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. 
Just, I, all I could do is just pray for these kids, honestly. All I could do is just pray for these kids, try to be a better influence and helping them make better decisions in their life. And honestly, just, no, we can do better. We can teach them and help influence them making better decisions. It's one thing if you're supposed to be going home. It's another thing if you're supposed to be picked up. If one thing, if there's a fight going on, and then it's another thing if you just walk past the fight because it's none of your business. It's one thing if the police come around and they're trying to figure stuff out, and you're not giving them the information that they need. Like it's it's not even that deep. But when you're a kid, you just assume that you know you you you're invincible, and the police can't do nothing to you. Especially when the black community is a completely against cops. That's all I'm gonna tell you. But I don't know. It's an unfortunate situation for two ladies, but I mean, it is what it is. Why is it that the ladies are the ones that go to jail? They need to control. This is why they say females are nuts because y'all know how to control your emotions sometimes. Why are we fighting? There's four guys. None of them threw a punch, but the females are the one that's out here fighting. Actually, well, the one, it wasn't the other one. The other one just was, was just with we. Anyways, interesting video nonetheless. You guys know what to do. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe. If you want to see the next time the video comes out, go ahead and hit that bell. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Peace.